Hello, and welcome to the Tavern Chat Podcast, Vidcast, Castcast. I almost said welcome to Far West, but that would not only be in the summer, but impossible, because it is just a figment of your fucking imagination. Far West is far from completed. It might even be far from started at this point. Who the fuck knows? Um, why am I talking about Far West today? Well, um... We're, we're nearing uh, the two-year mark of uh, the last time we got an official update on the Far West Kickstarter page, which, you know, that was uh, mid-July of 2019. Um, now, as you see on the screen, this is the, uh, you know, the Far West Kickstarter page. It raised $49,324, the last update officially was July 15th, 2019, and that was basically to tell us that you weren't going to have any more official updates and so you had something to update you with because, uh, you know, updates are for pansies, you know? You don't need updates. You don't need information on something that you backed. Why would you? So I, I thought, all right, let me – there was a great website, mutedhorn.net slash far dash west dash delivery dash estimates or just look up far west uh kickstarter estimates and it should come up in your browser now i'm not going to go back to the beginning of when i started doing these updates because this was supposed to have uh, been placed in people's hands uh at the end of what year did i get married was that 2011? I think it was 2011. It was supposed to be in your hands literally months after you backed it. But but no. And why is it coming up? Because I found out there was an update, not on the Kickstarter, but I'll, I'll get to that. So I think I go back a few years so you can hear some of Gareth's uh, excuses. Uh, April 1st. Obviously, this is an April Fool's Day. Uh, I'm very close to being done. Finally, I'm hesitant to even tweet this given the date. Looking forward to the sense of weight lifted. Okay, so we're talking. Oh my God, we're talking over five years ago. Okay, uh, in May, um, I'm planning delivery to deliver PDF in May. This is 2016, five years ago. Uh, now, um, he's saying by the end of May. 2016. This is supposed to be against the Chupacabra Con. That's the uh, convention where Gareth said that he'd uh, punch Tink Car in the throat. I welcome you to try, old man. I welcome you to try. You'd have to get out of your chair. You'd have to stop tweeting first. But, you know, you, you could try. Uh, now, in order June 2016, cause obviously May, May was just, you know, uh, I expected to live sometime around the end of the month. And in the comments, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take some wiggle room and say it's going to be early June, 2016. Another update from 2016. Uh, we're still going for the end of June, uh, August 2016. I understand you're out of you that you're out of patience, and the silence on my end certainly didn't help. But this process will not take years more. Bum, 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 bum. Not take years more. Um, update 61, again, from this page. Um, October 2016. Uh, I'm off Twitter until my late project is complete. Nearly there. Thanks. Who then followed up uh, with the tweet. Hey, folks, it's been two months. I wanted to check back in. Two really hard months and a really hard year. 2016 was a hard year. Okay. Uh, soon thereafter, uh, I'm still working to finish Far West. So close now. All that remains mostly is the last chapter in appendices. I want to get as much as possible, not the whole shebang, off to you by the end of the year, end of 2016. Okay. Uh, Kickstarter backers will report in the project comments for January 1st, 2017, that no additional materials were released before the end of 2016. Again, surprise. No, no, no. I can, uh, before I even go any further, can you argue that Gareth had the best of intentions? No, no, you can't argue that. Well, you could, but you're fucking wrong. Could you argue that Gareth 
was delusional and thought he could hit these dates. It's quite possible. Um, I, I don't think he had the best of intentions, but I'm not saying that he uh, had to totally, I'm going to just lie to people. I think he thought he could possibly pull this off with all these uh, dates. And we're already, by the way, uh, five years late at the process, right? He was already five years late, and he still can't even hit the five years late. But, hey, we're going to be ten years late, and we're still not getting there, but we'll get to that point. Um, this is one of my personal favorites, the update from January 24th of 2017. I've been contacted by the Kansas Attorney General's Consumer Protection Office, and I've been responding to them. This naturally takes time that I would prefer to be using to finish this and deliver. But it is what it is. Regard, this deliver delivery will be coming soon. So, of course, that comment is being made. Why? Because he's trying to appease, at the time, the Kansas AG's Consumer Protection Office. Look, I'm working on this. And also, by the way, backers, whoever got the dime on me, you're fucked because you screwed yourselves. I'd be done if it wasn't for the Attorney General's office looking into me. All right, that was January 2017. October 2017. Uh, the next time backers hear from me, it will be to deliver. Okay. November 2017. Uh, expect a major post with files before the end of the year. Same. To repeat here publicly, I've been silent because people got tired of hearing and I got tired of taking the time to write. Work continues. I decided that the next time I said anything, it would be to announce completion. November 20th, 2017. Of course, um, he was back to tweeting right away. Uh... 2018, I'm Gareth Sharka, designer of Hong Kong Action Theater, Underworld, Thrilling Tales, a bunch of freelance stuff for others, and coming this year, yes, really. Now, by the way, April 2nd, 2018, Far West. Now, again, he likes to post around April 1st. I don't know. Maybe you got a sense of humor. Um, I'm planning on giving this is. Uh, Mid-2018, mid I'm planning on giving you a completed manuscript. We're talking the whole thing, not just the rules. In July, although possibly earlier. Okay. Uh, first project update was exactly a year later. You're going to get this. Uh, I'm talking in May. You'll get this by the summer. Uh, a year later, I'm working this weekend, but it doesn't look like I'm going to hit my self-imposed deadline of July. I know, I know. I've already beat myself up over this. It is what it is, and July has been challenging regardless. I'm fairly sure I only have a week to get things squared away, but to be on the safe side, I'm going to give myself two. July 27th, 2018. Now, August 25th, 2018. So tired of disappointing people. Feeling like crap today, but I'm going to finish this week. Push, push, push. Uh, the 25th of August, 2018, was the seventh anniversary of the Kickstarter funding, by the way. Um, September 1st, 2018, he gave some sections of the manuscript and the backers only update titled More Manuscripts. Um, and then January 7th, 2019, I'd intended to get the last three chapters done before the end, and I'll be blunt, and years end, but I'll be blunt. This is unlikely, though possible. Uh, in all likelihood, though, this will get its final touches once I'm back in the office on Monday, January 7th. Almost there. Layout has begun to the full PDF will follow. Soon after the final chapter delivers an on a printer. Okay. Okay. That was uh, December 2018. Uh, New Year 2019. Now, now, now we're getting close. I, I know. I know you want this real time. Listen, I'm sorry. We, we got to get to now so you can understand the absurdity of now. Uh, 2019, a new year. I still haven't delivered Far West. That's still the biggest professional failure hanging over my head. But the redesign has almost done it, and I'll be finally getting it out the door this year. By the way, the redesign was, yeah, I don't know if I want to keep this using D20 OGL. I want to go uh, open D6. All right. Uh. Again, 
February now, 2019, you'll be seeing a lot more comment content about Far West, including the release this year. Okay. Uh, not quite, but okay. Um, Friday, the 4th of September, 2020. I expect to deliver by the end of this year. So we went from the beginning of February, 2019, to nearly the end of 2020 without an update. And by the way, he stopped updating on the Kickstarter, but I'll explain that too. Now, here's the update that, that's important. This is one I find interesting. This is from today. Well, not today. This is my cover today on the blog side. This is from uh, February 22nd. I apologize for missing this. But I figure Gareth likes the attention, so you should get it. 2021 is the year where Far West finally gets released. I have not abandoned the project. I am finishing it up, currently adding some things suggested by my editors to various parts of the manuscript, mostly in the final chapter, the narrator's chapter. My business partner, Eric Troutman, has begun layout of the completed chapters. Things are proceeding. PDFs will go out first to the long-suffering Kickstarter backers, okay, and then will be released commercially, followed by the printed book, again, to backers first and then wide. Here's the thing, folks. Don't hold your breath. If you're a backer, don't hold your breath. Why? Because the money has been spent. He said that prior. So there's no money to print physical copies, unless he has somehow scored away new cash from his freelance gigs, uh, writing as uh, Brophy. Uh, I forget the first name he was using. But how he was writing for the uh, new Star Trek stuff. Um, we'll release this year. Delays, disasters, pandemics, and societal collapse be damned. Home is on the horizon. We're racing the sunset, but we're going to get there. Now, that was... February. It's, I guess, uh, a shit ton long, right? Since we've gotten an official update. Now, what I do want to, and, and I'm sorry, I, I really, I, 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 I shouldn't be in the giggling state at this point, but uh, sometimes you, you kind of have to be. Uh, so you can't come. You, he won't read the comments on Kickstarter. That's why he doesn't update it. Now, why doesn't he update it? Well, somebody asked him that. Oh, I'm, oh before we get to that one, somebody in March said about the long-suffering pre-orderers who didn't have the benefit of all the secret backer-only communications and releases. Uh, they were hoping that you know they'll be included in getting uh, the, uh, I guess, the PDF. I didn't know. I didn't know that there were pre-orders on top of the Kickstarter. So not only did Gareth bilk, and I'm going to use the word bilk in the idea of he took $50,000, and maybe he'll get something, but he took, he took a 10-year interest-free uh, advance. Uh, and on top of that, because that wasn't enough, let me take pre-orders on top of, of that. Is that like pre-orders, Gareth, by the way? And, and I, I know you'll listen to this because you, you've got the ego, too. I want to know, Gareth, are those pre-orders kind of like the Buckaroo Banzai pre-orders? Did those people ever get their money back? Because you lost the license, right? The license you had for over a decade I expired a long time ago. Are, you, are those people getting their money back, or is that also money that was just pissed away? I, I'm just curious. Um, somebody else is like, would, would those be the social media accounts you blocked People I'm going to ask every four years for an update. That's the reason why he moved the updates to his website. He's like, nobody has ever been blocked for asking for updates. Several people have been blocked for being rude jerks. Well, there you go. I guess I would fit myself into that category of being a rude jerk. But why would I be a rude jerk? Because I am uh, the dumb fuck that backed this fucking project for, I don't know if you can see it there, pledge of 150. Because, you know, a portrait of you done in a Far West style by Rick Hershey, which wasn't done by Rick Hershey, by the way. God bless Rick. Rick realized he was uh, working with, uh, well, I guess somebody wasn't really producing. And uh, Rick backed out of the project. So instead I got like a, a Photoshop of my hands up with my hands done in red. I, 
you know what? I really should have uh, grabbed that artwork and uh, and 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 use it for the uh, the splat page for this uh, video. So there you have it, folks. So this is the latest Far West fiasco update. Now, um, Gareth has been nothing, nothing but absolutely truthful over the last decade, right? Right? No deception, right? No, no lies, no, no false statements. I mean, he wasn't under oath or anything like that. So really, what does it matter? Except for the fact that uh, 717 backers. And plus, God knows how many pre-orders um, got fucked by the fat man, um, and and I can say that cause I'm not a small guy. All right, so you can call me a fat fuck too. I, that's fine. But uh, Gareth has constantly, constantly uh, misstated the the actual situation. I. Don't know if uh, the, 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 the history of, of Far West, it was supposed to be a multimedia empire. And again, we'll be lucky if we get a dead RPG out of this. And really, I mean dead, because I, I don't think there's any goodwill left for people to buy this. I can't see anybody buying this in the aftermarket, which is why I say don't expend print, print copies. 150, um, the PDF... Gareth is uh, saying, uh, I believe that was ten dollars for the PDF, Kindle, or ebook copy. So, people who did get refunds, large voices that, rightfully so, should have uh, publicly commented and demanded refunds. Uh, I did not, because that. Well, initially, I was I was hopeful that shit would happen, and then I was like, I'm 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 not gonna beg the man that's broke to give money back that he's already spent, not on hookers and blow, allegedly, um, but on medical expenses, and the excuses of uh, Con, Con probably was an excuse early on, but I'm not even gonna go there. Um, again, this is far west. This is why uh, Garish Garka was once considered. Uh, an icon in uh, the gaming industry. He he really should be. Uh, you know when we we did those petty gods way back in the day. That was a great a great community resource and release. I think that we need a Skarka. You know a petty god that is iconic for lies, deceit, and false promises. Allegedly. Right? And, well, actually, this isn't a legend. There's a, there's a whole record of this shit. Uh, bless you. That wasn't me sneezing. Thank you. <laughs> but, uh, see, even allergic is... Even Rachel's allergic to Gareth. But um, it's all there for you to look up. You can look at the uh, Kickstarter page. I will link... Um, in the comments below this, I will link the... Uh, so you can follow at home. The... Uh, the muted horn update fiasco. Read it from the beginning. Read it to the end. And and to yourself, uh, was Gareth flat out lying to his backers? Was he lying to himself or both? I mean, or I mean, because listen, you can lie to yourself. Don't get me wrong. And Gareth has talked about some of his challenges, uh, mental health wise, and maybe some of this was him lying to himself. But I don't know. I think a lot of it's just lying to the back as they get them to back the fuck off. Leave me alone so I can work on, oh, I don't know, Star Trek. Michael Brophy, that's how he worked at, as Michael Brophy on Star Trek. If you look at your Star Trek game and you see Michael Brophy listed uh, in the credits for writing or additional writing, that's Gareth. And hopefully that money that he made from those freelance projects are going to, I don't know, make the backers whole. Give us printed books in the off chance that the latest update was not more uh, sex lies and videotapes. No, I mean like uh, mistruths, myth statements, deceit, lies. I know Gareth has his backers. He did some great work 
Uh, Two Fisted Tail stuff was good. I think Far West was uh, what what was a bridge too far for him. And uh, hey, like I said, I back for one fifty. I, I I maybe I've gotten one hundred and fifty dollars worth of uh, bitching and complaining, but I could do that for free. So no, I didn't get that. My money's worth yet, Gareth. I'd like to get my book. I don't want it to be piss soaked either when you do finally send it. And uh, if it, uh, if, if, oh, well, who am I? Who am I fooling if it ain't going to be? But one, one could hope, right? One could hope. All right, folks, we're still in the midst of the world of the pandemic. What does that mean? It means use your fucking common sense. It's all, I'm not a medical professional. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not saying go out and get the shot. I did. But I have complications, right? I am at, I am at risk. Um but you can't help others. You can't keep others healthy and safe if you yourself are ill. So take precautions. Use your common sense. I'm not going to tell you what that entails, though. Be safe. Be well. God bless. Uh, for those that get annoyed by my knocking on wood, knocking on wood, uh, I should be back again tomorrow. Be good, folks. God bless. <laughs>